The Dominican Republic, sun, sea, sand in the heart of the Caribbean. Tourism is the country's main source of income, attracting over 5 million visitors a year to its resorts. But beyond the palm fringe beaches, agriculture has a vital role to play. It's the second most important industry and a major employer. La producción de frutas y vegetales en la República Dominicana es muy importante porque sirve para alimentar a nuestro pueblo, pero también es el, lo fuerte de las exportaciones del país. This all changed in March 2015 when the Mediterranean fruit fly, or medfly for short, was detected on the east coast. This was the first time this highly destructive fruit pest had reached the Caribbean. Female flies cause damage by laying their eggs in fruit and vegetables. Shortly after the first case was reported, the US, the main export market, reacted. Oh, once we were notified of this uh, detection, the immediate reaction is very typical, is that we immediately banned all imports of any possible host fruits that are not treated for specifically for fruit flies uh, into the United States. It's speculated that the fly entered the country through infested fruit in tourist luggage. It's surprising how often it does happen. It's most likely that tourists from either from Europe or some other location where the medfly is established brought in infested fruit. The impact of the ban which applied to 18 types of fruit and vegetables was dramatic, causing a loss of 40 million US dollars and putting 30,000 jobs at risk. Although the main agriculture area was never infested with the fly, the farmers here were badly affected. La veda no afectó bastante porque al parar la exportación nos vimos obligados a tirar todos los productos o venderlo en el mercado local y se saturó el mercado. Entonces tuvimos que perder bastante dinero en la agricultura. Principalmente tuvimos que reducir to la más del 50% del personal. After assessing the extent of the infestation, the country started to control the pest with various suppression measures. But something extra was needed to eradicate the pest from the country, a nuclear technology known as SIT, the sterile insect technique. Within days of uh, the country requesting that uh, assistance, uh, we were able to send experts to the country to assess, firstly, the situation, and secondly, work with the authorities of the country. With the support of the IAEA through its partnership with the FAO and together with the US Department of Agriculture, the Dominican Republic launched a medfly eradication program. With SIT, millions of flies are mass reared in special facilities. Male pupae are sterilized with radiation. In the Dominican Republic's SIT program, the sterile pupae came from the El Pino facility of the Moscomed program in Guatemala. Las pupas que son eh, importadas desde Guatemala se reciben e inmediatamente estas son depositadas en bolsas para que posteriormente produzcan la emergencia de los adultos, los cuales son colectados para su liberación en el terreno para controlar las especies nativas fértiles que tenemos acá. After being chilled, the sterile flies were distributed by plane over the infested areas. Here they mated with the wild female flies, but this produced no offspring. Trapping and fruit sampling measures were used to assess the progress of the project. And in January 2017, the last wild medfly was detected, paving the way for the announcement in July 2017 that the Mediterranean fruit fly had been eradicated from the country. Para la República Dominicana ha sido un soporte invaluable. Eh, no solamente porque ha representado el ahorro millonario para el país, eh, porque los, 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 se abrieron nuevamente las exportaciones que habían sido prohibidas. The Dominican Republic has a vast wealth of natural beauty and resources. Nevertheless, it's still a developing country. Plans to expand the fruit and vegetable export market are underway.
Now equipped with the right skills for effective pest control and increased surveillance and quarantine measures, the country is well prepared should the medfly return and is looking towards a more fruitful economy.